Karsa was amazed by the walls they've built. He was amazed by the ingenuity of Death Ops and his other Greenlanders. The stuff they've made, it was stuff of dreams. These giant walls now encircling the entrance to Unsung, surely they will hold back any invading armies. But Death Ops still tells him they need harpoons, they need harpoon guns, they need guards at the gates. And Karsa didn't have enough men for this. He didn't have enough resources. While the walls themselves put confidence into Karsa, he was still worried. The shack had mighty walls, yet look what have become of them as people. Warriors, sure, but they all fought to die. They didn't fight to live. Will the feeling of safety these walls now provide for his people mean that they will become complacent? Does it mean that they will feel trapped inside these walls? He wasn't sure, but what he was sure about is that he has to keep on listening to Death Ops, B1 and his other advisors. He has to continue growing. Him, himself and Unsung as well. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kenshi Genesis and welcome back to the story of Karsha, our warlord. Welcome back my friends. Uh, we've We've been uh, mining copper down here for uh, a tad, because we kind of need it, and uh, Spider Eye Fuser here to help B1 with his uh, constant attacks that have been uh, he's been dealing with it, dealing with. No, no worries there, it's it, it's fine, it, it's it's all good. <laughs> B1, Jesus Christ, you're hurt. Uh, you two, go repair the man. B1. Repair yourself, it's fine. The spiders out here are a constant threat, and you know, as you can see, we're not that far away from our from our gates, which is fine. Uh, Karsha, go back to having a job or do something. So you can see we have built our walls around, finished them, and the reason we are mining copper over there is because we need copper for our harpoon turrets. That is, that is what we need, even though it's a very unsafe space there. We also built this building that we are not using for anything quite yet. And the walls are a bit wonky, but you know, the terrain isn't really, isn't really straight. We still have these people out here in the turrets, but I wanted to build the harpoon turrets over here. And for that, we need more, we need more resources. And of course, eventually we want to build the big tower over here. But again, not enough resources for that. I think we have enough building materials mostly but iron plates iron plates not as much iron not at all uh in fact apparently we don't even have enough iron plates to do this or vamos just went to get them what we can do is melt all these wrenches that vamos has made so that's a good thing oryx is up to 65 armor smithing and i think uncle is up to 70 so these guys have been doing well and we also have a new recruit uh where is he hanzo is here Hello. He's got the mask that he wanted, and he's got uh, a katana that he wanted, and some uh, armor that he's got, like mid to heavy grade. Also over here, we now have storage for all the oil that these guys are going to be producing, and we have this oil refinery that turns this into fuel, which means that we finally have enough power, because we are now turning oil into fuel. So, as is tradition, it is about time we go out there on adventure again. And this time around, Karsha is taking Ghost. He's gonna bring Cabal, who's got some uh, new armor. Rothra's got some new armor as well. We got Berseria with us. We're gonna bring Oryx. Now, the important part why we're bringing Oryx is because we're going down south to Clown Steady and Drifter's Last to buy some new recipes for crafting an Oryx over here. Since she is uh, one of our main crafters for armor, she can tell us what exactly we're looking for. We also got Kanzaki, who's got some armor smithing experience as well. We brought Eva Destruction with us as well. You know, more more of the newer recruits. We got Death Ops as our rangers and Scotty Beams as one of our rangers. And then we have Moosey to be the big tank that we'll need. So these guys are gonna go. We're gonna go down south. And in the meantime, I told Uncle to work on the uh, smithy over here in the plate smithy. Uh, since, well, Oryx is, is gone. Everybody follow Scotty. Let us go down south. I hope we have enough ammo. Yeah, it should be fine. Emma, why don't you have a repair kit? May I, may I ask, why do you have 
stuff on us. No need for that. Moosey, Moosey's got repair kits for everybody. Don't you worry about that. Give this to, give this to Ella. There you go. And we're going. Goodbye. I assigned Kryon and Schnitzel over there to work on the plate, uh, plate beating bench while we are gone. So we're gonna continue working on that. We're not gonna, we're not gonna stop, right? And Hanzo is over here making us more fuel, which is great. So we still have the industry going on. Really, what we need is we need some more upgrades so we can start upgrading everything. So we don't need that many people working these things. Do we have 12 iron plates right now? We, we don't even have 12 iron plates to upgrade that one, which is unfortunate. I would love to do that. And of course, as you know, I would love to create uh, an actual mining area over there. Wouldn't that be nice? Hanzo was in the group of one's big lord. But somewhere in past, he left this group and his old lord behind. Lord was not so happy about it, so he ended up almost killing him. Hanzo managed to get out of almost his last moment of life and killing his old master. He was wanted man, with no home. He traveled through many places and towns, living in fear that loyal soldiers of his old master will get him, making himself to trust no one. He lived alone, at his own spending long time in a bar, trying to drown his past in grog and making his new name as a local bounty hunter that makes no mistakes and making his job with 100% accuracy. He doesn't show his face, he always keep it under his straw hat with mask. Welcome to the squad, Hanzo. It's good to have you out here. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll use you. We found you in the swamps. He's got his stats in the 20s. So he's definitely going to have the big shack to train against very soon. For the shack kingdom is coming in about a day. Once again, because we haven't seen them in a while. But yeah, welcome, buddy. It's good to have you. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> We ran into grieve raids. Uh, luckily, this guy got stuck. You can see they're faster than we are, and very, very nasty. Okay, that's that's very nasty, Scotty. Are you sure you want to go down this way past all of these grieve raids? Maybe, maybe you maybe you shouldn't, my friend. Maybe you shouldn't. We found a ruin over here. Uh, I think this is uh, another ancient lab. Yeah, there it is. I remember this one. We've, we've dealt with this one before in Genesis, but I don't think we're going to do it right now because this is not exactly what we came here for, but I'm going to go check it out. All right, what we got inside? There's five spiders down below. There's four more in the middle, so that's nine. And then four more up here. That is 13. Yeah, uh, not what we came here for, but we know for next time. Kanzaki, did you get spotted there? Uh, I see that spider moving. He's trying to aggress on us. Let's not let him aggress on us. Let's just get the fuck out of here. This is this is definitely a place we can go to uh, next time. Once we go uh, hunting some ancient stuff. Death Ops, would you please stop uh, trying to pull out a spider? Because, uh, as we said, not fighting him. No, no, no. Scotty, lead these men away. Oh, Jesus. Oh, holy Jesus. <laughs> um, let's get the fuck away from here, shall we? Let the spiders fight the spiders. Yeah, I think that's... Uh... Excuse me. God damn it. How did you manage to run right into them as I was watching the other ones? Fuck. I do not want to fight grieve rates. No. Bad people. That way. Bad people. We'll see you got this. This way? This way, boys. This way? Yes, yes, Scott, you stay there. You guys are definitely fast enough to outrun these. I never thought I'm gonna say that going through the crater or around the crater over here would be safer. Or a safe thing. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that. But at this point, yeah, I don't want to fight a million spiders. If it was people, yeah, we could have fought people. But spiders? No, 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 screw that. Like, absolutely screw that. Boys, looks like we got spiders back at home as well. Good thing the grieve raids don't come this way. Get them, boys. Where'd you come from? I mean, probably through the doors, right? <laughs> but where'd you come from? Destroy them. Please. There you go. Okay, some people got hurt. 
No worries there. We are we're just fine. We're all fine. Let's see how B1 is doing over here. He is up to 11. We need 15. So 15. Just just uh, four more copper and he's good down here. And he's gonna be done. Scotty has brought us to another gate. Which you love to see it. And we're gonna go through. So we're now going through this gate. And this is gonna allow us to go all the way down here. Clown Steady is our next goal. Let's go. United Cities. For the first time in this playthrough, we're going to the United Cities. Hey, what is there not to love? Although I know the Genesis has, in the past, changed how these places worked. So there was, like... It, it, there, there were clowns and there were other factions in the hook fighting each other. We've, uh, we've been there. We've seen it before. Uh, but let's see how it works these days, shall we? Blood spiders, you say. Great. You pick the, the only path up here. It has, it has the blood spiders. Well, I mean, we have Moosey. Moosey just destroyed all of them. Alright. We'll, we'll take that. Where, where are we? We're in a hill up here. Very nice view. Is there a path? Oh, no, no. There, there is a path to go down. It's, it's fine. Let's go, let's go onwards here, and I see there's a big group of swamp turtles here. So I'm guessing the swamps are overflowing down this way. Lovely country, you gotta admit, it does look pretty nice. Very shiny in the morning. Who do we have out here? Red Sabers. There's a lot of Red Sabers. That is a lot of Red Sabers, and it would be a real shame if we didn't fight them. Get them all, boys. Attack them all. We need to start uh, having some fun. Let's have you be on the hill, boys. And let's hope that Scotty can shoot something, because uh, Scotty is still in the minus two at crossbows. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. We're, we're doing good, boys. Good job. Slay them all. Slay them all. This is definitely uh, the, tr the kind of training that we want to see. Especially for some of our newer recruits that didn't have a chance to uh, do something like that before. And I would love to bring some of these Red Sabers back at home to potentially try to recruit them, but right now, well, they are kinda, kinda too far. Or we are too far away from home. Stop. Oh. Oh. There's another group. Can we just all attack? Oh, there you go. See? Run into them. Scotty, good blocking. Pull back a bit. Death Ops, you pull back over here. Oh yeah, let's, uh, let's... Keep on keeping on, boys. Get him, Eva. Destroy them. Oh, yes. These guys are are melting. Scotty is fighting in melee for a second there. Oh, and now shooting Kazak in the back. Thank you for that. <laughs> you know, sometimes a man's gotta do what a man does. Hit people in the back. Friendlies in the back to train up. Oh, Jesus. That one got destroyed right there. Hey! Good, good work, boys. Scotty got hurt a bit in the leg. That's fine. Death Ops being a beast with his crossbows and his precision actually in the light like this. It's very good. It's good to see. How's Moosey? Moosey got hurt a bit, but look at that. We just destroyed two groups of Red Sabers coming at us. Absolutely destroyed them. You'll love to see it. Gotta admit, Clown Steady is a much bigger place right now than it used to be. Hello, United Cities. We haven't seen you in a while. Actually, haven't seen you at all. How are we doing, boys? Are we fighting? You guys should be just fine. Probably some spiders. Probably just some spiders checking around. Look at this place! I like it. I like the way it looks. It's got some uh, older, more houses out here as well. Is this a noble place? This is a no noble hospital. Interesting. That's a beautiful haircut, lady. Not gonna lie, beautiful haircut. There's a bar over there. You're saying I have awful pants? Oh, it's a, it's a lady. It's a noble. That's fine. Let's go. Let's go find a bar so everybody can settle in a bar. I mean, she's she's right there. I don't, I don't want her. What do you want? What do you, what do you want? Oh, great. Okay, we have to talk to her. There you go. Yeah, 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 don't worry about it, lady. We're not here to uh, do an incident. No, 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 no. We're just going to... Could you please stop following me, bitch? Oh, 
Jesus. Okay, so she wants to talk to us. No? She's now shopping. Well, get out of here. We're just gonna enjoy ourselves nicely over here and have a quiet drink. Well, the rest of the group relaxed at the bar and had a few drinks after their long travels. Oryx and Kanzaki went shopping. Karsa told Oryx she had free hands to pick and choose whatever recipes she deemed that they would need. Recipes for armor, weapons, backpacks, whatever she seems fit, she's allowed to buy. And so the ladies decided to have some fun and go on a shopping spree. But what Karsa didn't realize was that in the process of their shopping spree, the ladies will spend over 150,000 of their cats. Sometimes the girls just want to have fun, right? Looks like the nomads have caused some trouble out here in the United Cities. Went to a wrong place, I guess. And now, uh, well, everybody's fighting them. Everybody's kung fu fighting. And yes, as you can see down here, we have spent over 150,000 cats. It's uh, not my fault. You talk to uh, Oryx, have done this all. <laughs> but look at how many recipes we now have. Drifter's boots, leather shirt, karuda zukin, red bandana, tabai boots, straw sandals, leather short boots, hachigani, plate jacket, mercenary plate, plated long boots, which is the ones that we really wanted. Plated tabai boots, which is the ones that we might now use actually, because they're really cool. Plate pants, samurai boots, hold sabers, long swords, jits, peasant tunic, samurai helmet, flared helmet, police helmet, samurai leg plates, samurai armor, plate jacket black, ashigaru armor dark, and plate pants black. We got really all the research that we wanted. We also bought a thieves backpack, bought some iron plates and some electrical components that we need for back home and i gotta admit we got a lot of stuff now boys a lot of stuff indeed and maybe this would be the time to leave this place because uh, it is a bit of a war zone you know uh, now i i was thinking maybe we could do something and uh kidnap lady uh aguri over here but i doubt any of these nomads will bring her down so yeah it's fine the nomads are just gonna get their asses kicked. And that's gonna really be what happened. I gotta admit, I really love the way this place looks now. They've really done a good job making this one amazing. Like, actually amazing. So, yeah, congrats. Very, very well done, my friends. Atlas, I gotta admit. Awesome. Really awesome. And now we're gonna... We're gonna go, we're gonna continue our way exploring the hook and we're gonna go towards Drifters last with these boys and we'll, we'll see what we can see along the way. Back at home, B1 has done it. B1, let's get rid of this job for you. Let's have you go back home. We got all the resources we now need over here to start building us uh, the stuff that we really need and really want. You two can get your jobs back and B1 I'll just have you uh, come over here. We're gonna do our thing. Oh, it's gonna be glorious. It's time to build some harpoons and we should have... Uh, the rest of the stuff in here. Beep! Are you fucking... Beep has become part of the building. And we're gonna start building the harpoon turrets with lights up here. Let's do... One, two, three, four. Right there. Right there. These harpoons are gonna... They're gonna be death and distraction. I guarantee you, these ones, death and distraction. Yes, yes, I mean it. All right, uh, we have all the resources. Actually, uh, we probably don't have iron plates, but we have all the other resources that we need for those. And I'm telling B1 to go and start working on that. He's got the steel bars, he's got the electric components, he's got the raw copper. And really right now, I think what we really need to do is tell Vamos to stop making uh, blades so we can start stockpiling some iron plates because we are just we're just out of this we're not doing it fast enough I'm sorry back down here we're apparently being attacked by something named Rizos rats which seems more like dogs to me Jesus they're loud Moosey get him get him Moosey that is a lot of rats 
And that is Outlaws coming for us. Alright, Death House pull back a bit. Rats dealt with. Ooh, these guys have one of the bigger hyenas. Dire hyenas. That's that's fine. Stop hitting Death Ops. Shoot the hyena, please. I don't like uh, what this hyena's doing. Oh, it's playing fetch. Oh no, it's now dead. Never mind. Oryx, you got this one? Hell yeah. I didn't expect these guys to attack us right away. What are they doing? They're just... Oh. They're fighting the slave traders over here. Interesting. Ah, look, there's Reza's rats. Looks like these guys are cannonballs. Ah, interesting. And they they told all of their... Uh, all of their little rats to go after us and they went for the slave traders interesting interesting we're not gonna be fighting slave traders right you two with a couple of the heavy injuries that we have like Kanzaki and Cabal both almost losing their arms we decided to go here where there is a way station golf uh, apparently these people love playing golf or something like that they have robotics here interesting construction farm hunting and travel very nice shopping place yeah yeah we're gonna go and we're gonna rest over here for the for the night hopefully and uh heal some of the wounds that we have uh, acquired hello friends hopefully you have some empty beds they do have some so yeah we're gonna have cabal can go over here for surya oryx is a bit hurt kanzaki eva and let's then put maybe moosey into one of these beds yeah, we're gonna we're gonna spend the evening over here. I think it's gonna be only appropriate. And just uh, let's see if there's any free chairs we can sit in. Or is everything full these days? Wow, it's a full bar. That is a properly full bar. I guess, boys, we're gonna have to stand at the bar while we drink. B1 is slowly adding uh, all the stuff we need over here. Only what we're missing is iron plates, and lots of those. But those will now continue being produced, I hope. Why is only Tyrant working on this? I did I did tell somebody not just somebody, multiple somebody's to work on this. Who was it? Oh, these guys are fighting in Spider Shell. There is the Coral's Chosen. What's the new not not you B1. I mean, I guess B1 since you already brought everything out. Come over here and work this. We need, we need more of these fucking iron plates right now, and uh, as I did say, we're not using them here. And we did melt all of that over here to even more iron. Maybe we should stop producing some armor plates right now? What's Uncle doing? He's doing nothing, he's kind of stuck because he doesn't know how to put stuff into inventory. Yeah, thanks Uncle, That's uh, I appreciate that very much. I think, Uncle, right now, uh, you're gonna go to... Back to Tanning Bench. Work on some of that. Uh, let's save our our stuff. Yeah, we have we have some armor now. If we need new recruits, we can do this. And both of you are gonna get off of this job. Yeah, we, we don't really want to do this right now. We want to spend all of this for well our uh, plates. We need we need plates. We tell him to be an engineer as well, so he's got something to do. And hopefully we'll slowly but surely build these bad boys. Oh, look who we found. <laughs> Alright, battle it is. I guess Kreon decided, you know what? Screw these guys. Let's go actually fight. Well, he's gonna get destroyed out here, poor dude. Before he gets some reinforcements. Tyrant is coming. Get him, Tyrant. And B1 is coming and Uncle is coming. Uncle with a nice kick in the nets. Everybody else is gonna slowly but surely stop coming up here. Oh, Crawl's chosen. We got you. Look at look at Bug Up being a, that defensive monstrosity. Nobody can get to Bug Up with his jet and his extremely heavy armor. But then, looks like Bug Up can't really hit anybody. Schnitzel hitting in here. Uncle kicking people in the nuts. Just the way we like it. It's kind of dark out here, but you know, we'll, we'll get some more lights eventually. Once we get more resources, once the boys come back, we get more resources, we can start slowly but surely upgrading some stuff. Tora went for the spiders. Is that really necessary, Tora? I guess you kind of hate them. So does Ashta, apparently. Just destroyed. We did give Ashta uh, another pole arm, 
this one, this one, the one that uh, was previously Shiva's. And Shiva now has a uh, sacred spear, the edge type one thing that we have uh, found. And one of the one of the apparel that we have found or bought just just now should work very well for her if she's trying to be a monk. I, I, I think we bought it at least. I don't know, I was thinking about buying it. Could you guys please not stand inside on a wall while you fight? Really appreciate that. Come on. Just there you go. What are you doing? How are you all running through the walls? Warning, Shack Challengers moving towards Unsung. And they just did they just spawn like right here? They did spawn just right here. Hmm. Well, they didn't let us uh build they didn't let us build our stuff fully. We have no harpoon set up yet. We have one almost complete. But not quite ready. And I guess that is fine. Alright. Everybody but the three. Off of jobs. Get out of here. This is where we fight. Charge, boys. Back all. My god. Oh, Jesus. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> I think for the first time we might not do so well in a fight. Maybe not. They're, they're already going for the rangers. I actually have an idea what we can do so they can never touch rangers, but... Blister, you already went down? Uncle already went down. Hansa already went down. Ooh, boy. Beep? I'm disappointed, Beep. Very disappointed. Alvisa is fighting in melee, so is Fuse. And, um, Fuse, how's your ammo? You're doing good. Come down here. No jobs for you. You're gonna you're gonna do some more stuff than just uh, than be on a turret out there. You're gonna do what needs to be done because uh, apparently we're all going down very very fast, faster than I uh, was hoping for. But it is what it is. We we know the drill. We know the drill. We know how this is gonna. Oh, there's more. Well, back to you, Fuse. You're gonna you're gonna have to do some stuff. And the more people that get back up and into the fight, the worse it's gonna be for them, because they're gonna just get more hurt. Let's see if Fuse can go and bring out more of these dudes. Look at how many there are still! Where are you going? Most of them are medicking. These guys are ransacking the Look at this! You fucking kidding me! Blister, minus 85 in the chest. God damn it, man, what did you do? You guys be be distracted by the spiders. I need to, uh, somehow, somehow, somewhere, I need to get to Daryl. I need to get to Blister. Come on, ooh, 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 Ash, they got to him. All right, first aid, first aid here. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, he's fine, he's fine. Um, Fuse, run. Okay, Blister, Blister is saved. Be a nice distraction. See if you can take this one down. You can take this one down, maybe we can get uh, to Daryl in time. A couple more shots and she's gonna start bleeding out. Let's see if you can quickly first aid beep. No, I didn't say shoot, I said first aid beep. How how did you not understand that? You fucker, leave Joseph be. Leave him be! Fuse! Nice, nice, good interrupt. Good interrupt, how's Daryl? Oh, we're getting close. Just leave him be, you fucker! Oh, you piece of shit! Oh, I fucking hate you! Joseph didn't get to Daryl quick enough. Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding me, man. That's yes, nice, nice, nice. Bug up. I need you to go uh, first aid Daryl. Get your ass over in there. It's nice. You're gonna have a nice distraction. Oh, this fucker's going for bug up. Pull him. Leave bug up B. Come on, shoot him in the face. Yes, yes, good, 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 good. That guy, I think he's going for bug up. See if you can interrupt there. He missed, he missed. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, good shot, good shot. How's, how's my boy Daryl? Bug up's working on it. How is, uh, how's Beep? Beep is fine, Beep is fine. Okay, Fuse is being chased by literally everybody. Let's see if you can bring them outside. They're all going for poor Bug up now. Looks like they took down Tora as well. Schnitzel and B1 are the only ones uh, that are still up. Schnitzel is healing himself. The miracle of Fuse. He's just taking them down. The boys inside are slowly healing each other. Some that go back up and some some still get attacked, which is unfortunate. Looks like Alvisa did go down once again. Ooh, 
Looks like the challengers have uh, have ended. That's nice. And there's a return for tribute. <laughs> no, fuck off. You're not getting no tribute. None of that. Are we getting these fools now? Oh boy. Yeah, no. We're we're having more more guys out here. That's fine. But at least these guys have healed themselves up a bit. Holy shit! Look at how many they're still inside. I was I was running around with fuse, kite, and all of these. But look at how many they're still inside. Are you actually actually kidding me? This is all still inside. <laughs> and they're just going ham on poor poor bug up. The tribute is coming over over there. Let's see if we can bring these guys away from the tribute. Let them come can let them come ask inside. Yeah. Let them ask inside, that's fine. That's okay. Fuse, you I don't know what to do. Oh! Oh! Who do you think is gonna come over here to talk to you, huh? Who amongst the people that you have tried murdering over here do you think can actually stand up and come talk to you? Let me tell you, not a single one. So Yeah, screw you. She's asking if you licked our wounds yet. You were here. You're still here, like your army is still here. How do you think we could have healed? You fought so badly in our last battle. The battle is still happening! What are you talking about? Jesus! Alright, Fuse, at this point, just run away. Okay, let's see if we can just lose them. Just just ditch the fuckers. Hopefully these guys... Uh, Alright, Bash and Geld are healing in there. Hopefully they'll stop attacking us in inside. Yeah. Screw, screw the fucking tribute. Fuse, you go and jump into the water, and let's have you, let's have you wait here. This, this should keep you safe. Okay, you can't repair yourself, which is fine. Yeah, Bash, don't heal people. Go get food. That is very smart. Go, go get food. <sighs> okay. Um, what we can do now is not getting well, but what we can do is tell them, okay, we'll give you food. You know, you can get the tribute, come get the food, but at this point, we throw all the food out. All right, Geld, let's go talk to these guys. Geld's gonna take things into his own hands and he's like, yeah, you know what? At this point, we are not ready to fight. I'm sorry. We, we just can't. Come get your, uh, come get your stuff. Take what you want. Oh, they're not taking anything? Okay. Well then. That, that's fine. Watching his comrades suffer, B1 despaired. The battle went very, very badly for them. And the Shaq Kingdom has defeated them utterly. To the point that they had to accept to give them tribute. B1 knew that Karsa would be disappointed with him. But he also knew that he will understand. Karsa will understand what happened over here. And he will help them get better get stronger, get tougher. With so many people broken on the ground, they now knew what they needed to do. They need to train and get much, much stronger before they will be ready to actually fight the Shaq and have a chance, a hope of a chance to defeat them. They might have lost the battle, but the war was still far from over. They will get back up, Tougher and stronger than they were before, and they will fight the Shaq again. But this time around, they will use their brains instead of the brawn.